So Don, you're with us today for your fourth treatment of the GOAL program. Yes. How do you feel today? Uh, the exercises uh, last night and this morning caused a little bit more pain because I'm not used to doing any exercising. Mm -hmm. So uh, my lower back hurts from some of the exercises. I don't know if I was doing them wrong. Um, and then um, my arms are shaking when I'm doing the wall pushes, but I'm pretty sure that's because my arm muscles are not getting any use mm -hmm. up to this point. And then walking last night, a little bit of pain in my knees, but the pain is not there right now. It's only when I, you know, when I walk for, you know, several minutes. Right. And do you think some of that has resulted, like when's the last time you, you actually exercised or worked out? Or? Um, when I worked, you know, which I retired uh, the end of October last year, um, I used to take the stairs up and down when I would go between floors. Mm -hmm. um, and the walk to the car uh, at the end of the day from work was a, a little bit of a hike, mm -hmm. you know, so 10 minute walk to get to the car. But I haven't done anything since I retired. I pretty much, you know, no exercise at all. Right. So some of that's probably resulting from, from that, do you think? Yeah, and, being out of shape. Mm -hmm. So how did you sleep last night? Um, I had a little bit of trouble falling asleep, but once I fell asleep, um, I don't remember waking up at all last night. Um, yeah, I don't remember waking up, so, so that's maybe, a good maybe the, the 15 minute walk uh, in the evening before I went to bed, maybe the fresh air helped. Yeah, yeah. that put you down. Did you yeah. take any Percocet yesterday? Uh, half a Percocet half again. Okay. at bedtime. Okay, all right. But now on a normal everyday basis, would you take a whole Percocet? I would take a half a Percocet twice a day. Okay. Once probably either in the morning if I'm really bad or around uh, noon, one, two o'clock, and then another one at eight or nine o'clock when mm -hmm. I go to bed. So the Percocet's been cut down by half of what I normally take. And you didn't take one this morning then? You were oh, no. able to get up and move and No, but operate. I did take I did take a Tylenol. That's so, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Tylenol substituted for Percocet. Percocet's a bunch of Tylenol anyway, so 325 milligrams, but I'm only taking half, but now I'm taking a 500 milligram Tylenol, mm -hmm. so. So it is less. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, and Dr. Forbes says get off the narcotics, so. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, we're hoping we can help you along with that, so. Okay, and on a pain scale at this, today, this morning, where are you? Um, lower back, maybe, uh, three, I think, and, and upper back, uh, three. Mm -hmm. yeah. Has the upper back between the shoulder blades and the, the lump there, can you tell that things are improving at all? I, I think they are. Um, the, the upper back, yeah, I, th I think it is. I was starting to say that the upper back was hurting as a result of the exercises, but that's not true. It was the lower back, so. Right. Overall, um, Don, just in general, mm -hmm. are you feeling any improvement? Just do you feel more loose, more? Yeah. Can you tell that the stretching and the posture and the walking? Are helping. Yeah, for the last two, normally during the day, I take a long nap, like three, four, five hours. Um, for the last two days, once I've been up and come here and gone home, I have not taken a nap. And then I've just gone to bed at night. So mm -hmm. for the last two days, you know, I'm, I'm able to up, I'm doing a lot of things, not exercising so much, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, putzing around the house and stuff. Okay, well, good. All right, well, we'll talk to you after your treatment. Okay. Thank you.